So, really, really quick slap groove lesson. I don't really slap like most people. A lot of people do a lot of bouncing. I like this style. Uh, it's very laid back type of slap. It's more of a, a pluck slash slap. Uh, I develop a lot of my plucking, a lot of my slapping routine just from me p playing chords and having this chord structure. Even with this groove, I'm playing a minor seven chord and I'm playing an inversion chord. Here, I'm using thumb index middle. Here on my, my plucking hand, thumb index middle. So I'll show you guys, you know, note for note um, or concept by concept because it'll take forever just to go note by note. Anyway, I'll slow it down just a little bit for you guys. So we have a hammer on to the E from the D and then we have that minor third from there and then a minor seventh from there. So hammer on from the D to the E, and then we have the minor third, next string, and then a the minor seventh. Thumb, hammer on, index, middle, okay? Now I'm just playing the G, I'm bending it a little bit, and then I'm hitting that root note, E. Pretty simple, right? It sounds harder than it actually is, right? And then I repeat the same exact phrase or concept, right? Same exact phrase, but I, I play different notes to it. I, I play an inversion chord, right? I go to the A, I go to the four, right? So if I'm in the E. So it's as if I'm going to the four, but I'm playing the first inversion major chord of the four. So if I'm playing, uh, uh, four chord in A major, I'm playing A, E, and then we got C sharp there. I'm playing the first inversion, C sharp, E, or you can flip that if you want to, uh, C sharp, E, and A. So my C sharp is on the bass, that's first inversion. All right, we can learn about that at another time and another date. We have lessons on that all over the place. Okay, so listen, if you're tired of struggling learning how to play bass on your own, you gotta check out Bass Nation Academy. We cover so many topics and have a ton of lessons to go along with them. We even have live interactive classes every single week. And there's so much more that we have to offer that will be available to you. And it's been amazing to be able to help thousands of bass players in their bass playing journey. So see for yourself, see what some of the members are saying. Click the link somewhere around this video to learn more about us and hopefully become a part of the Bass Nation Academy. Very, very important to learn your inversion chords on the bass. Uh, super, super important. Everything else is really just filler. Right, everything else is just filler stuff. There's really not a set way, right? There's really not a set thing that I do in the, in the middle of everything. Uh, you can kind of leave that to kind of a impromptu solo improv improvisation. Improvisation, improvisation. Am I saying that right? <laughs> That's right. Improv, solo. Anyway, any anything in between that is really just solo stuff. So here we go. Like right there, I'm adding like a filler. You don't have to do that. You can have it with that space, right? You can have it with that space, but if you want to fill it up just a little bit like slap bass usually does. So I'm using the same type of format. So I'm hitting a double note on the E and then playing the E, the mutton of flat seven. Yeah, with that move right there. That's even weird right there. Like, so I'm doing um, pluck, thump, and then pull off. Pluck, thumb, pull off. That's so weird. Like, I've never really practiced like those type of movements. I just started doing them. Um, but it's like a pattern that is just not like a normal. Like, I could have just thumped that. A lot of pulling off and hammering on going on there. That's what she said. 
Um, so that's the groove. 